So here I am guys, gardens again, just getting some work done before going to my favorite store. Welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my channel is all about uh, fashion, luxury fashion, um, shopping. Um, I do a lot of uh, shopping vlogs and unboxings and reviews of cars and collection videos. So um, if you have watched me before, welcome back. So as you can tell from the title of this video, it's going to be about Hermes again today. So obviously I've been so in love with Hermes more and more so after I got my Birkin 25 that I just did an unboxing a few weeks ago. So do check out that video. And if you're into this kind of stuff, would love for you to stay around and subscribe to my channel. So let's get right into it. So I showed uh, some very, very short footage at the front of this video when I went to Hermes, uh, my home store. And I do have um, two items today to unbox. And I'm also going to share with you my um, entire Hermes shoe collection and my shoe wish list, so to speak. So here it is in the orange bag as per usual. And I will start with the smaller item first. I have two. And this was an unexpected item, but I think this is potentially like the cheapest bracelet you can get at Hermes or the one of the cheapest one. one. So I've never i don't own this kind of bracelet i have a, a few of the others like ken double tour uh o kelly um, click h cadena so <clears throat> this is something different and it is the be happy um bracelet this is a reversible one so it is navy this shade of blue is called navy and this is chai chai is such a beautiful color guys i would love to get a bag in chai one day but anyway this is reversible so this is kind of like getting two bracelets in one and my size is t2 so a small so there's extra small small and then t3 which i think is like medium and um this is a double tour uh, it has a double tour effect again and i, I just love the name uh, be happy and then it is yellow gold hardware as you can see um and i think this is a very you know because it is quite thin so it is um, not as chunky as the other so it is quite a still can look pretty feminine but I think I would probably wear this more when I go out rather than when I go to work in my opinion just love the fact that you can have two bracelets in one so like very good value for money and it is one of the cheaper bracelets at Hermes this is 1800 ringgit it is cheaper than the click HD uh, enamel bracelets and also cheaper than the other uh, leather bracelets like Kelly double tour and mini revolve so um, yeah so this is how it looks guys uh, I personally love the um, um, Hermes leather bracelets and the enamel ones as well so yeah, I never regret when I get um, Hermes bracelets. They just add a very nice accent to whatever outfit. So the other item, I'll go into it. Oh, sorry. I will just also show you how it looks reversed. So this is how it looks reversed, guys. This is the chai color, which is such a lovely neutral. Uh, if you have, can if you imagine it on a bag. So hopefully I can get a bag in this color soon uh, but not Kelly I'll ask for non quarter bag in this color okay so let's get into the item the next item which is a pair of shoes and is something different from what I usually buy um, at Hermes and even from other brands so I actually got the Daffin loafer and it has it has a very chunky heel has a an H in front here in palladium coated hardware and I know this is not my usual style guys like usually like feminine kind of stiletto styles right or if not I'll go for sandals but I really really like this pair I think these can be worn to work on a, a casual work day at least they are closed toe uh, and then you know it is uh, I don't really like wearing sandals to work because I don't like open toes at work I mean that's just me personally so I thought this would be a great pair a great alternative and it's very chunky like I call these like Mary Poppins shoes almost because they are just so you know they're so quaint um, so 
classic and um, just not my style but you know it's always good to change up your style so I'm just removing the stickers on the edge the palladium coated edge edges so I'll try them on for you to have a look at see how it looks on me so this is how it looks on me guys as you can see very different from my usual pairs of shoes I think they're very very cute the chunky heel makes it super comfortable and I think because obviously these are full leather shoes it will stretch out a little bit so I still took like um true to size size 39 and I think the palladium edges are okay not too loud so to speak yep what do you guys think? So I feel like they are very preppy <laughs> kind, preppy kind, preppy pair of shoes. So for your information, I, I wear a size 39, so this was the only pair left and they have other colors as well when, uh, when I looked at the website, but uh, in my home store, they only had this color and I really wanted a pair of new shoes, so that's why I got the black and I think they're classic with the silver hardware or palladium coated hardware. So now let's get into the shoes at Hermes like. Um, to be honest guys, even if you were not looking for a quota bag, even I, I wasn't like trying to get a quota bag, um, I already love Hermes shoes as they are. They are just very, very well made. And to be honest guys, in terms of pricing, okay, this pair, it is a 5,000 ringgit. So, but it might sound a little bit steep. So, but actually if you compare it to like Chanel, like a pair of Chanel sandals would cost you more than 5,000 ringgit honest guys so in my opinion i think Hermes shoes are overall very very well made uh, i wear them a lot at least the ones that i've got and then um in terms of pricing it is actually not as extravagant as a lot of other brands so the dior jadois um sandals obviously it's not an apple for apple comparison but those are also five thousand ringgit obviously it's a totally different look but for Hermes, i think they are super well made very comfortable in my opinion of course depends on what style you go for so as you guys know uh, might may know i have like three pairs of orange so this is the vert and broom which is really pretty i have the two-tone ones which are natural and canvas also very pretty and in demand and then i have a pair of basic ones my first ever orange which would be the white ones which i've worn to death as you can see but they are still very very um still have a lot of life in them and i wear i wore these a lot so now i'm trying to alternate with the other two pairs of orange that i have and then i have the bikini sandals which i've shown all these shoes uh, i've shown most of them except for the new ones in my shoe collection video so i'll link it down below and these are bikini sandals they have a bit of height and they are very comfortable it's a bit there's a bit of cushion here uh, i have to be very honest guys for the orange sandals because they are so flat and there's no not much cushioning it can feel a bit painful if you walk in it the whole day because there's no support like no straps no nothing at the ankle area um, and then the basically this piece of leather here is like right and at the front so there isn't like a second piece here or any straps that kind of supports your uh, feet or your leg so uh, people like my mom like she can't wear them because she has some joint issues and she feels like it's very very painful for her so do uh, keep that in mind so I'm um, going forward in terms of spending at Hermes I really feel like shoes is a category that I can really really use a lot and very practical because I mean like I really need shoes right and if you compare it to the other brands like as I mentioned Hermes is actually not that expensive um, it's just like very very comparable and just love the quality etc and I love to be um, you know able to support my essay as well so if you're looking to spend at Hermes I really recommend you can start with shoes because they are always practical always going to be used and they're actually not that expensive so in terms of my shoe wish list for this year I've already um, <coughs> given to my essay my request so it's not just about the quarter bag so I, there's also lots of other stuff at Hermes that I love and so you know if you're new to Hermes I've got a few questions I think the first department you can look at would be shoes so um, the other pair that I'm wanting to get would be the Paris loafer also uh, uh, it's a flat loafer basically with a, an H in front and I want the silver one oh by the way the leather that is used on this is 
chevre leather which is goat skin and it's quite comfortable and uh, for information the be happy bracelet the leather is swift so all um leather bracelets at Hermes are at least most of them but i believe all they use swift leather because it's very pliable it's very soft and very buttery comfortable to wear since it's on your skin and this is chevre leather uh, for the Paris loafer, I did try on a pair 38 and a half and it was just too tight. So I think most of my shoes fit true to size for your information. And I would love to get a pair of Paris loafers in the silver color. Definitely, I won't be getting another pair of black shoes. Um, I think one pair is enough for now for me from Hermes. And then uh, those are just very chic, very stylish, um, you know, casual shoes that you can wear. The other pair is another pair of loafers, which, which would be the Royal Loafers. Uh, Royal Loafers actually have an additional piece here, a frilly piece. So I'll put a picture um, on screen and it's also flat. And I would like to love to get a pair of white um, Royal Loafers. They're just so, so pretty, so chic, you know, and uh, I'll just see which ones come, which one comes first, right? Paris or Royal. My preference is Royal, but if only Paris comes, I'll just take Paris because I've asked for Royal Loafers for at least six to eight months already. It's just very difficult to get in store and especially in my size and also because I want white color or at least a light color. Um, maybe could be beige or off-white if they ever have a pair. And um, in terms of heels, you won't be getting heels like Louboutins or, you know, uh, Jadois shoes at Hermes. It's just a very, very different aesthetic. So, you know, if you uh, that's why I still buy the shoes from other brands because depending on the occasion, right? So I feel like for Hermes, a lot of the shoes are more for like casual days when you want to look chic, of course, etc. But not so much in terms of like actual work, work shoes, in my opinion. I mean, uh, at least for my kind of work, like when you go to the office, I usually... I would wear heels sometimes, uh, most of the times, um, especially when there's a meeting. Um, so for those, I would go for Chanel, Louboutin or Roger Vivier, one of my favorite shoe brands. So another pair I think is worth investing in or getting would be the uh, Legend Wedges. So it's a wedge pair, but basically it is also the signature H design in front, uh, but the heel is a wedge. And the wedge is actually, when I looked at it closely yesterday, it actually tapers. So it does have a slimming effect on the back of your, um, when people are visually, when people look at back. Um, so basically, I think the Hermes shoes are actually designed with that in mind, to be honest. And like the chunky heel, uh, I couldn't really show you because like my camera is not far, was not far enough. But when I look at a full length mirror, it does have a slimming effect because the heel is so chunky. And I know the way they design it, it kind of tapers. So it does make your legs look longer, which is great. Um, apart from the Legend ones, um, I did try on um, and... Uh, so the, the pair that I was talking about is called the Ensense. I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrongly. Uh, it is basically, it has a very short heel, about two centimeters, and it has an, an ankle strap, and it is relatively a newer design. Uh, the heel itself is very chunky. It just goes straight now, and so I believe the Legends actually have a better slimming effect in that sense. Legend is still slightly dressier, but um, the Ensense is also another pair of nice, fun, um, sandals but with some heels basically if you can imagine a pair of oasis which is a heeled oran with it an ankle strap so i'll show a picture uh, so i did try that on but i felt like um i like this pair a lot more because i wanted something close toe and i did it they didn't have legends in my size yesterday so um yeah i'll probably wait for legends in my size uh, and also the other so i probably only have three or four pairs of shoes on my radar right now the other one would be uh, the Esme Mew, just because I want to have a pair of Mews from um, um, Hermes as well. And it would not have the, have the H logo. It actually has the um, Farron kind of this um, design, you know, the it kind of looks like the buckle on the Ruli bag. So if I do get a mini Ruli, I would love to have a pair of shoes with that buckle. Um, so yeah, guys. So if you're really looking to start at Hermes, I would still recommend that you start with the ever, um, the very, very practical shoes that they have which obviously choose a color that you like and something that you will wear so in Malaysia it's summer year-round so I do get a lot of use out of orange sandals so if um, you probably can start with the orange because they are relatively um, lower price as well so it's a great um, I guess piece to 
kind of thing um, to get into Hermes before you decide if you really really love the shoes um, like somehow people end up with a lots of with lots of pairs of orange in various different colors because they're just so comfortable easy to wear and um, yeah very pretty as well for casual days so that would be what I recommend for you to start with and um, the loafers are definitely classics uh, you can never go wrong and um, yeah so if you're looking to start at Hermes I would, I would really highly recommend for you to start with the shoes so do check out my entire Hermes collection video that I did um, earlier before I got my Birkin so I'll do an updated one probably like towards the end of the year because I do see myself getting more and more stuff uh, before my next quota bag Hermes jewelry if they're worth it you know my in-depth thoughts uh, what you should get what are uh, practical uh, in uh, for another video because I don't want this video to be too long and so easier for people to search for stuff so today is all about Hermes shoes I hope you enjoyed today's video do let me know if you have questions as usual and um surprise 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 I actually stepped into Louis Vuitton as well because it's, it was opposite um, it is opposite um, Hermes at Gardens Mall and so I will do another video for a Louis Vuitton spring summer I'm loving their colors but um, I still haven't gotten anything because I'm just too into Hermes but we will see and I would love for your vote I just love it when you guys give me your comments because I know you guys are like you guys have great taste and also shop a lot and look at this kind of stuff a lot so do let uh, I'm looking forward to your thoughts and do let me know if you have any questions on Hermes and uh, I'll be doing an Hermes jewelry video uh, soon and uh, do stay tuned for that and um, yeah please do like this video if you liked it so far today like share subscribe and I'll see you really really soon um, have a wonderful day bye